Okay. You see the moon up in the sky. You want to send people to the moon. So it's not like aiming a gun. You're like, okay, 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 bang. No. By the time you get there, the moon's not going to be there anymore. It's going to be where over there. And... <sighs> Orbital mechanics, like like launching stuff into space, thinking of movement in space, uh, thinking of uh, aiming in space, is not. It, it's not something we're accustomed to, because in space nothing moves in straight lines. Absolutely nothing. I mean, we're on the Earth. The Earth is spinning. The Earth is orbiting around the Sun. The Moon is orbiting around the Earth. So the Moon's doing this with time and we're going to launch from the surface uh, of a rotating object we're going to aim for another object that's rotate that's orbiting at a different speed than we're launching at and we have to like go to it we have to land on it we have to come back instead of thinking of straight lines in, in space think circles Everything moves in circles in space. It's all about circles and spirals all the time. So the mission launches, the Apollo 11 mission launches off the surface of the Earth. So here's the Earth spinning, they're riding along, riding along, launch. Here we go. Now they're in orbit around the Earth. So they're doing this. In that orbit around the Earth, they check everything, make sure, okay, everyone's still alive, we're all good, everything still works. Okay, now they gotta get to the moon. They're orbiting like this. <laughs> the moon's orbiting like this. Mm. So everything's timed in advance. Everything is planned in advance so that, okay, we're gonna get to the moon. So the moon's down here, we're orbiting, the moon's coming around. Now we're gonna do a burn that pushes us away from the Earth and lets us catch up to the moon like this we're gonna make a big circle to catch up to the moon we're gonna head to the moon on route to the moon that's when the empty shell of the apollo mission uh like jettisons they put the crew service module and the lunar module together because they had to be stacked in a certain way to get to the orbit. Uh, but now they're in their space we don't want it stacked like this we want it like this um and then they head to the moon so they're traveling to the moon. Here's the moon. This hand will be the moon now. Traveling to the moon. But if they don't stop, they don't stop. Either they're going to crash into the moon, which will be bad, or they're just going to go like this, which will also be bad. So they have to turn around, fire the rockets in reverse to slow them down and enter into the moon orbit. So they slow down here and then do some more burns here so that they can enter into lunar orbit. So now they're doing this. As the moon is orbiting the Earth, they are orbiting the moon. From there, the lunar module detaches, lands on the moon, Neil and Buzz doing their thing. Wow, isn't this awesome? While they're down there, the crew service module stays in orbit hangs out for a while and then they're done lunar module launches from the moon just like the whole mission started back on the earth very similar idea connects with the crew service module they transfer everyone over then they get rid of the lunar module because we don't need it anymore because remember we gotta save weight we gotta get back to the earth we, we only got so much fuel left we don't want any dead weight right so now the the crew service module is in orbit around the moon they've lost they've lost the lunar module everyone's back on board they're orbiting the moon like this so they gotta wait for the right time and poof, burn back to the earth now it's, it's the exact same thing uh they gotta aim just right and when they get close to the earth they do have to do another burn otherwise they're just gonna like go keep going that way which will be very very bad news so they do another burn to enter earth orbit and then they fall into the earth now when they were landing on the moon they were able to use rockets to slow them down they're descending onto the moon like to get to the moon to land safely on the moon on the earth Instead, they use the air itself as a brake. With big giant parachutes, they use that air drag to slow them down. I mean, they're going tens of thousands of miles per hour. Ideally, they want to be going as close to zero miles an hour as possible when they finally hit. And they do. Whew. Mission accomplished. This whole thing of launching from the Earth, 
orbiting the Earth, going to the moon, orbiting the moon, landing on the moon, coming back up into orbit, and then coming back to Earth, landing on the Earth. The whole thing took about eight days of nail-biting tension. 